Good morning, everybody. Soren here, back for episode three of our boat guide for fishing Barents Sea. Uh, this is my early game favorite. Um, I just like the overall look of the boat. It's more traditional. Uh, still, I mean, still nothing too spectacular overall. You still cannot have any additional crew. It costs just over half a million crowns. Um, although it does have the uh, higher fuel tank that I, I really enjoy from uh, the Borge. The, the engine speed, it's fine. 10 knots, but this is where I really enjoyed it. I had a good system down of dropping four lines and then going to haul my other gear and then redropping four lines, trying to keep them offsetting. You could do maximum length of 2,000 hooks, which is a 200 meter line. Typically though, I was dropping three or two 2,000 hooks, trying to, trying to keep it so I would get completely full off two hooks, go and drop. By the time I come back out, more is available. It's kind of hard to do that. I was, it was usually two and two. I wasn't able to keep four sets of two out. But these are just regular long lines, the same as the Borge. I'm not gonna, not going into any um, actual gameplay of doing that. We've already covered that. But we can kind of give, uh, we're gonna pop off the dock real quick and go inside. Obviously our logbooks here, our storage diag or our storage uh, tracker, our sonar, GPS, our fuel speed, all our light commands, horn. After that, we'll stand up and take a little bit of tea. It's still a small craft, so, I mean, not too fan damsy. But we have no fish to gut, but we have a gutting station, gear, storage, and a block to haul the line in. Uh, all in all, though, really fancy ship. Kind of like it. This is my little favorite at the beginning. Um... Kind of reminds me of the one that I would go bay fishing on back in the day when I was little uh, with my parents. But anyway, that's all for Toby. Say goodbye to Toby.